All uh, praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Chakwadash, the by honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, Shalom, salutations to the hopeful elect that's fighting a good fight of faith and truth, and sincerity and wholeheartedly, Shalom to the Aqua, which is the women believers, Shalom to you. Wisdom keep us alive. And as the scripture says, the beginning of wisdom is the fear of the Lord. But wisdom, you know, in camp, um, encompass you know everything that we need to bring us close to the lord you know the beginning of wisdom is fear wisdom also give us discipline wisdom also you know give us faith you know so wisdom is the thing that bring us close to the lord and also make us alive like wisdom as we going through what we go through on a daily basis you know um the fiery trial uh, our fight is not against flesh and blood, you know, but principality, spiritual wickedness in high places, you know. So um, the things that we go through in the mind, wisdom is what keep us going. Whoso seek, seek of her early to her is wisdom shall have no great travail for he shall find her sitting at his doors. What did you have? What say in Matthew 7 and 7? Knock and it shall be open. Ask. And it shall be given unto you. So the Lord, he do not upbraideth those who asking for wisdom. He said, if you lack, ask for it. That's in James 1 and 5. So if you lack wisdom, ask for it. Wisdom is going to keep you alive. You know, it's keeping us alive now. And it's definitely going to keep us alive in the days to come. To think, therefore, upon her is perfection of wisdom and Whoso watcheth for her shall quickly be without care. Once you have the true understanding that the Lord is in control, issues of death come of him, as it says in Psalm 68 and 20. The Lord created evil good, you know, and all that. Isaiah 45 and 7. You know, the Lord said that a man's goings is of the Lord. How then can a man understand his own way? Proverbs 20 and 24. So you have, when you have that understanding, you don't have care. We understand what the scripture says. Um, cast your care upon him for he, cast your cares upon him for he care for you. I want to say that's first Peter's five and seven. Matter of fact, let me see if it is. Oops. What the hell is all this? <laughs> Satan always got to do something. Goodness gracious. I don't even know what the hell my hand hit. Yep. Casting all your care upon him for he care for you. Now I got to go find where I was. Um. So it says to think therefore upon her perfection of wisdom and Whoso watcheth for her shall quickly be without care, for she goeth about seeking such as worthy of her. This is why, you know, nothing in the truth is a small thing. You know, um, you tend to get backtracked because, you know, you win the flesh. So the flesh tried to overcome, you know, um, your spirit. And that's in Galatians 5 and 16, the flesh and the, the spirit warf. you know, so you go, you have your down days, you have your up days. So when you in your down days, though, that's all the doubting that come into your mind. That's the demons playing on your mind. The cares of this world that, you know, damn well, you don't give a damn about. But that day, everything that that's that's wrong, it matters now. Like, damn, man, I'm tired of not having money like this. Dang, man. I'm like my woman, man. She get on my motherfucking nerves. She been getting on your motherfucking nerves. You know what I'm saying? So it's like you, you have those days. You have those days. But, um. The beautiful thing about it is that, you know, wisdom get us through wisdom, get us through. So it's nothing small about anything in this truth. If you have this truth, consider yourself blessed and blood and blessed above measure. Something that you cannot comprehend right now, you know. So it says for she go about seeking such as worthy of her. And as and as you see, as we continue to get closer, people are falling out of her. Talk about wisdom. 
people who've been in the truth for a while falling out, man. So consider yourself blessed if you still have it. And it says, show herself favorably unto them in the ways and meet of them in every thought. All we do is meditate on this truth for the ones who are really in this thing, you know. Our, our, our judgments is about what the scripture says. You know, some people don't even like to be around us because if you talk to us about some worldly shit, we're going to talk to you about some scriptures. All right. That's our mind. We can't help it. That is who we are. Don't talk to us then. Shit. I ain't, you ain't about to give me a worldly example, but I can't give you a scriptural example. So that's all we, that's all we talk about. The scripture says that, um, the abundance of, a uh, damn, uh, abundance. How the hell you spell it? Abundance. I don't know. I'm a guess. Uh, abundance heart speak speak if I know it's in Luke well it was in Jer it's in Matthews too but I want to get this one so it says a good man out of the good treasure of his heart bringeth forth that which is good and the evil man out of the evil treasure of his heart bringeth forth that which is evil. For the abundance of the heart his mouth speaketh. When you go into the word abundance, it's talking about your desires. So we desire this truth. We desire this word. So that's what we're going to speak on. That's why, you know, you got people who would debate you about, you know, who the best quarterback of all time or who the best basketball player of all time who the best boxer of all time they could talk about that all day but when it comes to stuff that actually matter they don't want to hear about it. they don't want to hear about the truth see that's what they think that, that that's their passion this is our passion so I'm going back um for the very did I read this did I finish it show for self favorably unto them in the ways and meet of them in every thought for the very true beginning of her it's a desire of discipline and the care of discipline is love. And the scripture says, if you love me, you will keep my commandments. And it's saying love is the keeping of her laws and give heed unto her laws. It's the assurance of incorruption. So our, the laws is our schoolmaster and we try to follow them to the best of our ability. And the Lord, since he knows that we are corrupted. All right. He knows that we are corrupted. That's why he multiplied his mercies. See, the Lord, he's so fair. He knows, even though we hate it, you know, we hate that we fall sometimes, but he knows that we're going to fall. He knows that we're going to fall. So he said, you know what? Since I know you're going to fall because I'm the one that gave you the wicked heart and the wicked flesh. For you can have that broken heart and contrite spirit. Feel sad, feel guilty. Uh, uh, depend on me. All right. Uh, I'm gonna. All you got to do is keep the law to the best of your ability. Try. People don't even want to try, though. You know what I'm saying? And believe on my only begotten son. People don't people don't even want to try to keep the, uh, the, the ways of the law, you know? So the Lord, he gave us a way out. And it says, and incorruption maketh us near unto the most high. So this is pretty much a, you know, a, a various topics. This stuff that I was meditating on and scriptures that I was meditating on. So I was like, let me do a, a, a video on it. So it said, Behold, the Most High is mighty and despise of not any. He is mighty in strength and wisdom. He preserved not the life of the wicked, but give the right to the poor. So you got to understand that our sacrifice is not in vain. The Lord said he is not unrighteous to forget our labor of love. Always remember that. It don't matter how long it takes, but when it comes, it is a tree of life. And that tree of life is the midst of the paradise of the Most High. Let's say in Revelation 2 and 7. All right. That's when you get, you're going to be like, wow, it all was worth it. See, when you're down here, life's still going on. The wicked still winning. Israel, uh, wickedness is still flourishing. And you like, damn, feel like I, I feel like I'm cursed. Well, you are cursed. <laughs> all right. That's why in Revelation 22, it said there should be no more curse. But see, when that no more curse come, that's when you're going to be like, oh man, it was worth it. And especially in the times to come too, because the Lord said he's going to feed He's going to feed and protect his servants and the ones who's uh, who's flourishing right now. They ain't going to have no protection. 
So it says he withdraw not his eyes from the righteous, but with kings are they on the throne. Yeah, he do establish them forever and they are exalted. See, that's what's going to happen if we endure to the end. And if they be bound in fetters and be holding in cords of affliction, which we have been. All right. We the one that came over here with shackles around our hand and feet and an iron of a uh, yoke around our neck. Then he show of them their work and their transgressions that they have exceeded. So now we understand why we went into captivity. We understand why these things happened unto us. That's how the Lord showed us through the Holy Spirit. All praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. See, that's supposed to scare you, realizing what he done to his children for disobedience. But our people don't give a damn. And that's why Jacob's trouble is right around the corner. He opened also their ear to discipline. That's how we able to receive the truth and commanded they that return from iniquity. That's why we put in our good foot forward to the best of our ability. And if they obey and serve him, they shall spend their days in prosperity and their years in pleasures. But see that take faith. And that's why it's impossible to please the Lord without faith. Hebrews 11 and six. All right. So the comforter. Gives you all the attributes that you need, the understanding of the scriptures, the faith that you need, you know. So that's who the Lord have given his elect. So to end it on this. All of this is worth it. That's all you need to know. As many as I love, I rebuke and chasten, and be zealous, therefore, and repent. So. The Lord is all about hard love. He he created hard love, tough love. All right. This is tough love right here, but it's all worth it. See, you got to remember, surely there is an end and our expectation should not be cut off. Proverbs 23 and 18. Behold, I stand at the door and knock and if any man hear my voice, my sheep hear my voice. They know me and they follow me. John 10, 27. And open the door, I will come and sup with him. When you go into that word sup, not in the Strong's, but actually the actual definition of sup in the eto, eto, uh, etomoline, whatever the shit called. I think it's etomoline. Yeah, etomoline. Um, sup is not just, um, it actually goes into revealing of secrets. And the Lord said that surely he would do nothing except he reveal of his secrets unto the servants, the prophets, Amos 3 and 7. So sup, it means to be intimate. It also means to reveal of secrets. All right. It ain't talking about just eating, even though the, the Lord did say eat this roll. So you can actually apply that too. So it said, and I will sup with him and he with me to him that overcometh. Will I grant to sit with me in my throne, even all as I also overcame and am sit down with my father in his throne. See, it's all about overcoming though. That's why we have to pray for the strength to endure to the end. He that have an ear, let him hear what the spirit say to the churches. All right. So, you know, wisdom, you know, it makes us alive. It keeps us alive. And wisdom and knowledge should be the stability of our times. Isaiah 33 and 6. So all praises to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. We have a expectation. If we, if we endure, we will get it. Shalom.